All right, look at on doom, doom, doom today, boy. Today, we're gonna look at tie route ends. Most specifically, this tie route end. This one connects to the pitman arm of the steering box, and this does all the dirty work. This turns your wheels left and right, and uh, my tie route end goes up and down a little bit. Difficult to do. Okay. You ready? Up, it down, up, it down, up, it down, up, it down, up, it down. But if you look up here, the nut don't move. So what does that mean? That means your ball socket won. Hey, that one ball. Now, uh, when I first got the Jeep, I never greased any of the joints. And uh, about a month ago, I decided, hey, let's grease them all. Try greasing this one. And the, uh, the fitting was actually completely plugged, like it was just full of hard crap. So I had to take a pick, and hammer it, and poke it, and hammer it, and poke it, and pick it out, and I got the ball and the spring free. And then I squirted grease in there, and the thing just went, and then just shot out everywhere. And then when you go like this, it went, and it all came out. So I'm like, oh, I guess I got some more balls. But all the other fittings worked. All the other ball joints are nice and taut. No up and down or moving around. The, uh, I previously replaced the track bar, so of course now the pit mountain arm is going to be like, Yo man, where's my new ball? So we're going to replace this. Pretty easy. You got yourself a cotter pin you remove, a three quarter inch nut that you take off. Um, and then over here, you got this weird looking thing that adjusts your uh, steering. There should be a bolt right here. You loosen that bolt up, and that should take tension off of the uh, this holding the sleeve. And you just take yourself a big pipe wrench and just twist her off. Now uh, you're gonna want to make sure that your alignment is correct to mundo, uh, especially if you drive this on the street. So mark how many threads you got left over, or measure from this to that, just to see how far you need to go back in on the old one. Now I previously just uh, I kept going forward and backwards in the uh, the driveway to make sure that my front wheels are properly straightened. And if you notice, for me, that's my hand, for me, that's properly straight. So you notice my wheel's a little sideways. So at the same time, this is how you adjust your uh, steering. So since I'm figuring I got a loose ball, I'm gonna put the new joint in there and uh, see what that's looking like. And maybe see if that straightens it. And if not, you just bring it uh, one way or the other, tighten it or loosen it to get it to change your steering so that your steering is straight compared to your tires. Because I always have to hold the wheel left, so I'm sure there's some kind of alignment issue. Anyway, you ain't gonna be replacing nothing unless you got a replacement. Today we got the Moog, son. Nice little tie rod in. And uh, the problem solver Moog comes pre-greased, some white grease. And you get your little kit, and it comes with all the little things. So, you got your uh, Zerk fitting that you gotta screw on, and I recommend doing this after the job is done, so you don't damage that. You got a cotter pin, and your new castle nut. So, pretty simple. Let's get to breaking shit. There you go, cotter pin and nut removed. Pretty easy. Use yourself some uh, needle nose pliers or uh, wire cutters or something, just grab that thing, straighten it out, pull it out from the back, three quarter inch with an extension, didn't really take that much to break loose, there you go, that is free, now, um, if your thing was wobbled out, it may fall out, but for the most part, if this is in decent condition, and it's more of a ball issue than a thread issue, you're going to need some kind of separator, they got to keep them separated, this is a ball joint remover or a pickle fork. You just fucking jam it in there, beat that bitch with a hammer, and separate it.
All right, there you go, boy. That's how you done separate a ball joint. Damn, son. Okay, PB blast to this guy. And with a nice piper inch, you should be able to start twisting this thing. Loosen that nut up. Damn, <laughs> that's a loose ball. Okay. <clears throat> so righty loosey lefty tidy. I didn't know these were reverse threads, that's good to know. Idiot. All right, again, make sure to mark your threads or measure. Mine was two and three eighths from this to the center line of this thing But as you can tell, the ball's pretty much gone. Here you go, oldie versus newie. Pretty much the same length. And uh, as you can see where my white marks are, this thing was threaded in like almost all the way. Fucking took forever. But she's a wiggly ball. And this one is not. This one's quite tight. So, now you measure, or basically just thread it in almost all the fucking way. And, uh, yeah. Alright, Pittman arm has been slightly readjusted by the steering wheel, so the steering wheel's straight. Now, Lefty tidy. And it just keeps spinning, 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 spinning. So I'm just going to keep tightening this and then lift it up every now and then and see when the center, uh, when the center's straight and matches with my pitman arm. Then we know we are tight. Okay, so with my steering adjusted, you'll notice that it's been threaded in slightly uh, more than before. So my uh, tie rod end had to go in a little, but now she fits right in there. So then all you're going to do is feed that in there, put the new nut on, tighten it down, and then tighten this down. There we go. All right, cotter pins through. Third fitting went on with a 9.30 seconds. Had to use a little quarter inch set. Okay, with that threaded on there and this tightened down in place, your new tie rod end is complete. So now, grease it up. With heel, grease gun. So, stick that in there and squeeze away until fluid comes out. Alright, notice how it's bulging now. It is full of squishy fluid. Alright, there you go. Tie rod complete. And steering straightened, hopefully. So, hopefully that gets, that gets rid of my uh, slight bump steer. And keeps my wheels straight. Might.